Okay guys, hello and welcome to another video here in Coding Venue. Um, today we are going to be building a REST API. Um, but this is a tutorial for complete beginners. So if you're looking for something more advanced, I don't recommend this video for you. But if not, I think this will be a really helpful uh, video for you to start working with REST uh, APIs. Okay. Uh, before getting started with uh, this tutorial, I want to show you guys what we are going to be doing. Okay, so let me show you what exactly this does. Okay, so here when we get all of the books, we hit the send button. We uh, get an array with all of the books. You can see here is a book. Here is the other one and it's a bunch of books and we have a lot of properties here. Okay. We can also go and search for a, a specific book. I don't know. Uh, let's look for the Hello Flex 4. And we can pass the ID of the, the books slash using a get request. And we get the Hello Flex 4 book. Um, okay, and also we have here the create option. So I already have the data for this book um, and to show you guys that this book does not exist let's find the ISBN of this book and as we can see the book does not exist um, this is called a specification by example so if we hit send we uh, receive our response with the book data that we just sent and we can search for this book again and we can see that it is added on the data and if we try to send again the book uh, the API will allow us to add the book because we already have a book with that uh, ID or ESPN in this case we can also update books um, here I already have an example to show you guys so we are gonna update this book this ID so let me show you how it looks right now. So we have the title, Locking Android, a developer's guide. So um, we're going to update the title for Unlocking uh, Android. Just that. Um, if we hit send, we can receive uh, the data or the updated data for this book. Uh, we can see we have the new title. And if we try to search for this book again, we uh, we can see the unlocking Android title being uh, updated. Okay, great. And we can also uh, do something with this. Uh, we can delete any books. So in this case, let's see what this book is about. Okay, it's, uh, it's the same book. Okay, um, and we are going to delete that book. So uh, we send and we receive the success that it was deleted. So now if we're trying to search for this book, it will respond with a uh, book does not exist. And if we try to delete this book again, it will show us that the book does not exist. Okay, as you can see, this is a really a basic API, but it has a bunch of features that I think will be helpful for you. Okay, and with this in mind, let's get started. Okay, guys, so here we have an empty directory. So I'm going to start a new Node.js project. I'm using the visual code terminal here. Um, so to start a new project, we'll use the command npm init. Uh, the package name, basically, we're going to be hitting enter for all of this. And for the entry point, index.js is the one that we're going to be using. And we type yes. Okay, uh, now here we have our package JSON file and there is a couple of uh, folders that we need to install, or not folders, libraries that we need to install. Um, so for that we're going to use npm install, we're going to use, this, we're going to install express for the HTTP server and body parser, and basically body parser will allow us to read this um, this body for our post request or put request uh, 
in our express server and we are gonna hit enter for that okay great now we are going to also install a node mon a node mon we're gonna save this as a dev dependency and basically node mon will allow us to refresh the server every time that we save something uh, while we are running the server of course okay great as you guys can see here we have node mon and let's start adding a new script this script basically will allow us to run something using the uh, command line so you're going to use the command of dev to uh, run our development server okay and the command that we are going to be using is nodemon and in this stacks js and this index js is not created here but we're going to create that in a second okay we save this and we create a new file called index.js we can close this package json and in our terminal now we can type uh, npm rom dev and as you can see the server is gonna start running but because we don't have an http server created basically it won't do anything okay so now if we're trying to run these books um, api uh, it won't do anything basically we won't be able to get a response because we haven't even uh, created our server in our index.js we're going to start with our expert server and we are going to read for the body parser that we also need here okay and we are going to create our express application and we are going to have a port in a const variable okay so we use app listen and this will allow us to run the server we're going to run this into the 5000 port and here is our callback and we are just going to do a console log of the application on port and we pass the port and with this we will basically have an express application running uh, in our server okay great now um, one thing that we can do now is to uh, add the body parser so this is really simple we just pass uh, the body parser that json into our uh, app.use okay okay so uh, here we are going to use only json uh, you can use these other formats but for now we're going to use just json for our bodies uh, but yeah okay great um, our server should be running now if we say we can see that the app listening on port 500 so now uh, if we try to get a response from books we said that we cannot get this api or this route basically and to start working with this let's create a new folder and a new file called api.js and this is where we are going to be uh, creating our endpoints okay great so we're going to start with the router this will allow us to add the routes that we want so this is how we do it and from here we can just export this router and inside this is where we are going to create our endpoints um, so let's start with that and let's do all of the endpoints they, are, they get for all of the books for a single book for the post uh, update and delete okay so use router get and we use slash books 
that will be our endpoint. And here we receive a function with our request and response. And yeah, basically, this is our first endpoint. We can copy and paste this one right here. And for this one, remember, we use an ID. So we pass this parameter here um, to so we can read later for this ID and search for our books. Now for the post, we just change from get to post. Uh, for the update, we use put and we also pass an ID so we can search for this book before updating it. Um, and for our delete, we just change for delete and we also need the ID. And with this, we will have our endpoints created, but not by working yet, because we need to add this API into the main application. Okay, so we are going to import that in our index.js and here we are going to use this endpoint. Okay, so here is where we are going to pass our main API with the, better, the version that we are going to use. So in this case is slash API slash v1 and this uh, route will be uh, first and then we will have the routes for our API. In this case, uh, slash books. And now if we send this, uh, it will get stuck in here because we are not returning anything from our endpoints. So in this case, we can do a quick rest send. We can say, okay, just to see if it is working. And if we send it, we receive the okay. Perfect. Now, let's start uh, adding uh, adding the data so we can start working with that. Okay, so for that, we I already have a file here. And I'm just going to copy that in the source directory. Okay, so now here we have our data. This is our book directory that I found. Uh, somewhere on github I don't remember but uh, yeah this is basically oh this is going to be basically our database uh, and we're gonna update uh, this data delete this data and all of that so now that we have the file there we can start by adding uh, first we're gonna import that so I'm gonna call it books and this is books thumb. And we are gonna initialize this. So we can update or delete or basically modify the data inside this. So we call this book directory. And it's a new instance of books in this case. Okay, so let's start with this first endpoint. So this is really simple because we only need to return all of the data. We are just going to use the rest send and this send will be sending all of our books directory and if we save and we hit the send button uh, we can see that we get all of the data with all of the books in here basically this is all all, all we need for this endpoint uh, of course you can go a little more advanced in this and you can for example, have a filter for, I don't know, for fields, maybe you want to filter for a date, a published date, uh, for a title, for the authors or something like that. But uh, I think this is uh, a topic for another video. And for now, we're going to just stick with fetching all of the books. And okay, great. Now, how we are going to build this uh, books and getting the books by an ID. Okay, so if we see the data, we have here uh, ESBN and this ESBN is going to work as an ID. 
because it's unique uh, in all of the books. Uh, and a database, this ID will be basically an ID field, but I think for now this ESBN will work for now. Okay, so the way to read for this ID is to destruct this rec.params. This rec.params, it will bring all of the params that we pass here in the URL. In this case, because this has the name of ID, we can get this ID in here. Okay, so now to find a book with this ID, we can say book. We go into our books directory and we do a find because we're only looking for one. And here we set the ESBN is equals to the ID. Basically means that there is something. Usually when there is nothing, this book will be undefined. So if we don't have a book, we're going to return with a status of 404 and we send a book to not exist. Oh, okay. Great. So if we find the book, we are going to send this book. Okay, we save it. And now if we go here into the endpoint and let's say that we are trying to look for this second book. This is the ID, okay? Now if we send it, we receive this flex tree in action. As you can see, it matches with this one. And if we try to add an invalid ID, we send it and we receive the book to start exist message with this the status um, code. Perfect. Now this is pretty much all we need for this endpoint. Okay. Now let's move to the a creation of a new book. So uh, here basically we are going to read for all of these uh, properties that we are going to pass in our body and this is where uh, body parser works. Um, it basically allows us to access this information. Okay. Um, so basically the information that we are going to need access to is this one, but uh, these are the properties. So what I'm going to do is because it's uh, quite some properties, I'm just going to paste this uh, data here. And basically this data is the one that we are going to pass here in the body. Um, and yeah. Cool. So now with this, we can uh, start creating our book. But first, we're going to check if the book that we are trying to create already exists. So books directory, we're going to use a similar, um, a similar uh, function that we created here to search for an ID. We're just going to make sure that um, the book that we're trying to create, the ESBN, does not exist. Okay. And if the book exists, basically we are just going to return, we are going to send book already exists. Okay. Um, and if not, if it doesn't exist, we are going to create a new book. So we create a new, a new const. And here we can pass all of these properties. Okay. And now we have this new book. So we just go to the books directory and we push this new book. And now we can send this new book. Okay. 
So now we have our post uh, request. So here I have the data that I use in the uh, example first. So we have the title, this book. Let's just make sure it doesn't exist. Uh, the book does not exist. Okay, great. So now if we are trying to send this, we, we can see that we created the book. Um, now if we try to get this book again with the get request, we can see it here. And if I try to create a new book again, it won't let me because we already have a book with that ESPN. Okay, great. Okay, guys. So now we're going to move on to the update uh, endpoint. Okay, here. So for this one, we're going to search first for the ID of this book that we're going to try to update. So remember that is that it is in the params okay and here we are going to also destruct for the body of our request this one similar as we did with this post request for uh, creating a book okay basically i'm going to copy these properties because are the same okay um, and here the first thing is to check if this book exists. Okay, so I'm gonna find books directory, find if this book exists with the uh, ID that we pass. All right, and here we are gonna say if we don't find a book. We're gonna return and we're gonna say book does not exist. Okay, great. Now, if the book exists, we're gonna update our fields and uh, we're gonna create this new uh, variable called updated book. And here we can uh, we can pass this book that we found. Uh, here so we are passing basically all of the properties okay great so now uh, that we have all of the default data uh, we need to start replacing these fields uh, and so here is where we need to create a function basically that uh, check if the property that we are going to update is not undefined then use the default one and if it is uh, defined or for example we have the title here that we need to update then use that title uh, so that is something that is simple so we use we are just going to create a new function here that we're going to call update field and we receive the val that it is the value and the pif that it is our preview value or the default value um, and basically we check if the value that we're going to pass is not, uh, a, it is undefined, we use the preview, if not, we use the value. And basically, uh, this is how it is made. So we're going to use this function for all of uh, our fields. So we use the title, for example. Uh, and we use the function update field. So the field here, it will be our title and our previous value will be the book that title. Okay. And this basically will update the field if we have it here in our body. If not, let's use uh, the book title uh, value that we had before. And one thing that I forgot, here we cannot update our ESPN, okay. Uh, that's something that we need to consider and great we are just going to copy and paste this couple of times so we can use the page count okay guys so now here we have our new updated book and with this we can now um, we can now 
update uh, the book in the books directory data. Okay, so we need to find the index of this book in the books directory array. Uh, this is something, something that you sh probably will skip if you're using a database, but because we're using an array here for the books directory, I need to find a book uh, or the book index of these specific books. So I'm just going to say find index and we're going to look for the ESBN equal to the ID. Okay, now uh, books directory, we're going to use the splice. This is why we need that because we need to pass here the book index. Basically, this is the one and the delete count. So we're just going to delete one uh, file from this index. So basically, we're just going to delete this file and then we pass the new book. Uh, in this case, the one that we just updated. And with this in our books directory, we should have our new uh, book updated. So we are going to send this updated book. Okay, and now let's try to update this book. Let's see, this book has this title. Um, okay, and we are going to replace the title for only unlocking Android. So let's send this. And as you can see, here we have our new title. And now if we try to uh, get this new book again, we get the new title. And here we can also, for example, we can update this short description. And we can pass, I don't know, short description. You can see this is the short description right now. Okay, so now the short description, it is updated, this short description. And basically, we can do the same with all of the fields that we pass here in this updated book. Okay, okay guys, and basically this is, this is pretty much for this function, I see that Cargotis here is not working because we don't uh, pass the value here in the update field function. Okay, great. Now with this we can save and now we can move to the delete function. Okay. Now this is the last one. So here we read again for the ID of these params. Okay. And we are going to look for this book. Check if the book exists before deleting the book. Uh, use the find. Okay, if we don't have a book, then we are going to return and send. Uh, we can pass a status of 404. We can send a message. I got, okay, that's a book does not exist. Okay, so now we are going to remove the book. So we use the filter function. And basically, uh, I type fill is filter. Okay. Basically, we are going to return all of the fields that do not include this ID. And with that, basically, we remove the book. Okay, and we are going to send a success message. Some APIs uh, usually return like the uh, data that they deleted. So in this case, the book, for example, we can uh, return this book. But for now, to keep it simple, we're just going to uh, return success. Okay, great. So here in our example, we have this book. Okay, this is the one that we were updating. I uh, restarted the server, so this is why it has this old title. Um, but uh, for example, if we're trying to delete this, 
we get a success message and if we're trying to get this book it says that it doesn't exist if we're trying to up, uh, update the book it will uh, let us know that it does not exist okay great so now uh, let's see let's try to get uh, the books again and let's say that we want to remove this one let's see what exactly is so we have this same framework okay now let's try to remove this book and we get success we're trying to get the book the book does not exist we can also make sure here with the fetch and we try to search for this id we get that it doesn't exist okay great now uh yeah guys this is this is pretty much all you need to uh, do to create a basic uh, rest api using uh, express uh, it, it is it is like i said on uh, the beginning of the video it's something uh, really simple to implement but i think it will be really helpful uh, for your next projects um i don't know let me know in the comments below if you want to see this implementation uh, of the rest api on um or on a library like react or something uh, and if you do let me know all right i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you like the video subscribe for more uh, videos like this one like the video that will be really helpful and yeah see you guys on the next one